guys, what is up? Cole Towns near. We're gonna keep sending it. This is a new video. Last video was sick, um, but this is the video after the build series. So, yeah, uh, I'm sorry I would have put the other one out after the build series too, but it was just, it was too good with Jake's video, and I don't want to keep him from posting that video. So, we're gonna start it off right here with a good solid drift from our buddy. He's gonna. We can send it. I don't know what his Instagram is, uh, but if I figure it out, I'll tell you guys. I die on this one it was for you my shoes untied ah, my shoes untied he's coming he's coming <laughs> oh she's somewhere outside We did it! <laughs> oh, he sprayed Jake! Yeah! My guy! Oh! Here we go again. Okay, Jake uh, had a little problem. So if you guys watched the last video, you know he jumped at 112 feet. Oh my God! And it was insane. So Jake, you wanna explain the problem you had? So I got this nice Monster Import, you know, good drink. They're like $4, pretty, pretty pricey for an energy drink, you know? Doesn't make a dent in my bank account, so it's not a big deal. Uh, anyways, it like, Levitated out of here to, to, to about around here, maybe rear view height. And then when I landed, it went whoop out and bounced and exploded like a water balloon in a middle school water balloon fight. Okay, and just went everywhere. But Lucas Oils got me, you know, just cleaning up the interior. So we're good. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> so this monster came out of his cup holder and exploded basically. But we're gonna send it a little bit more today, guys. The GoPro is dying right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the battery. Grant just got out here with his uh, turbo GC8 Subaru. Oh, what the? Gnarly. Gnarly. Guys, what is this? No you your up, like, what is this hood? Setup, Grant, what is this? Uh, what do you mean? That's uh, oh, so those are his hoods. I don't have money. This is a no budget build, bro. I don't put any money into this. This is <laughs> shit I feel. <laughs> no budget build. What don't you understand, Cole? Oh, oh. Is that where the light bar was? No. Yeah. Well, this is yeah. where the light Yeah, it is. was actually, now that I think about it. I was mad at those holes and this needed more clearance and I didn't want to like grind it and yeah. it like super, you know, there was no point. And he's got the turbo dump yeah. sticking out the hood. Guys, this thing sounds insane when you rolled up. And he towed this trailer Dude, with I these tiny tires the all the way out here, which is crazy because like, that, that was, was crazy. <laughs> So much. The car is on fire. No, not yet. I, I'm trying. Hey, okay, you're fast. Get it. Get it. Okay. Hey, when when they open that hood, stand back. What's that? Yeah, I know. I know yeah, what no, to do. Good. I've done this before <laughs> a lot of times. <laughs> so I basically look for it. Grant, no swearing for the video. I'm not mad. No, no, I just I, like so so I don't have to cut it out. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Worst case scenario, you gotta pull me out of here. Oh yeah, I know. I'll pull you out of here. Do you have a trailer? No. Oh, you didn't. I'd bring it. Thank God that guy said that. 
I think your uh, high pressure light may have blown up. No, not the high pressure one. The low pressure one. The one of the low pressure ones. Jake, what's your thoughts on this uh, build right here? I don't do that. <laughs> I don't know. It was on fire at, the, said, uh, at the headers, though. The fire, the headers were literally on fire. Is that guy so. from Sesame Street that sits in the garbage can? Bro, inside of so you couldn't see fucking, literally anything. You know the. Uh, <laughs> this guy was going ham right there. Dude, I was getting pissed because I realized that I can't actually throw it in the second gear with the turbo on anymore. No. Really? That's why I was angry. Yeah, like it doesn't really want to go. I don't remember. Huh. Hey, Cole, did you watch Sesame Street when you were a kid? Yeah. <laughs> oh! Uh, yeah, that's the lower line. Oh. It melted right off. Melted right off. Oil? Uh, Oil line? Yeah. That's the return line. <laughs> Guys, look at this uh, block off right here. Yeah, There's a battery. Hey, no, battery. No ridiculing. We got a, you we got a plug. You see how long it lasted. Yeah, so we got, so we got a lug nut and a battery. Right this there. guy's built insane. So you turbo this backyard turbo kit. It sounds insane. Like it sounds so good. Oh, okay. This is a direct Oh. Load. Little baby turbo. Fixable. Yep. Cool. Fixable. There we go. Actually, we have to wait a right long there. time for this to cool down and we need a ride to O'Reilly's probably. <laughs> um, but fixable. I got a line. The one that's like hanging right there. We can use that. I love junkyard stuff! <laughs> there we go. Okay, guys. Usable content! <laughs> Usable content! <laughs> this guy. So we got Hugo over here. Apparently, has the exact line that he needs just hanging out. Yeah, right there? Right there. That's the line we need. And this is capped with a half inch to three quarter adapter. Or three eighths. Some, some uh, ghetto stuff, but okay. Whatever works, I guess. <laughs> Drop the clutch at like 4K at least. It all Dude! It's like 400 plus horsepower. What? Yeah, he's never dynoed it, but he doesn't need to because he's had like seven of these motors. He's done. He's done this several. So times. that's a uh, what EJ something. EG33. I want to see so from, a It's a six-cylinder out of a Tribeca. It's out of a Subaru SVX. SVX. Okay. So guys, that thing's insanely fast. Like I want to. I want to see him run. It took off. Insane. Yeah, guys, uh, we're signing out here. We got the Subarus out. We're kind of just hanging out with the Subarus. Grant's turbo uh, feed line, drain line. Uh, the high pressure line on the bottom. Okay. So it's high pressure. Your turbo feed then, right? Yeah. No, no, no. That's the sorry outlet. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I, your drain. Yeah. Turbo drain. His. Yeah. So his turbo drain melted. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that because Hugo. Uh, his EJ26. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm bad at this. EJ32. EJ33. EJ33. High pressure hose on a part of his engine. So. so he has an EJ33 that he used to have boosted, and he still had the high pressure uh, drain line on there. I don't think <laughs> high pressure. Though. Anyways, he still had the drain line on there. So. <laughs> just ruined my phone. My now we're going to go ahead pressure, and <laughs> throw it in the car. Okay, guys, we're in Hugo's EJ33 swapped GC8 Subaru. And I'm gonna go show them how to like ride the dunes. What? around that tree. 
Okay guys, right now we are airing the tires up. We got the compressor that I wired up as you guys saw in the last or the other video because it the wires kept going bad. And it's all good, it's running great. Then we got Jake over here. We're gonna fill his tires up yet because he's a bum and he doesn't have an air compressor. <laughs> Get out of here. Penny roll mafia over here. Get out of here, bro. How many welds are on your exhaust in two feet, bro? About seven. <laughs> Probably about seven. But honestly, this guy has clean welds. I mean, he built trailing arms that just stood up to a 120 foot jump. With the 6,000 pound cargo With van. With the 6,000 pound cargo van, yeah. Guys, look at that though. Oh, God. I think I need new shorts after that. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah we are headed to the cabin. Both Subarus blew up. Um, one Subaru blew his turbo drain line off, and the other one hit this hill way too fast. I think you guys saw that in the video, and he uh, dented his radiator in. So uh, that's Wait, blown. look at this. Look at this. Do you see? That is his radiator. Okay, well, that's Logan. Uh, he's 14. And he has um, a sense of humor as a. Uh, Shout out your page, bro. Pizzas are good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we're going to the cabin tonight. We're going to go there and party a little bit and drink a lot of beer. So it's going to be a fun time. The next day, we got back to the cabin today. Truck's all good. That lower ball joint though, it's in bad shape. So we're gonna come on up here, maybe sometime this week. I have my first uh, week of school is starting this week for my spring semester or quarter. So might not come up till the weekend or I guess next week we have a bike race. So we'll see what happens. But um, truck did amazing. Jake man did amazing. Neither of the trucks broke. So that's always a good thing. Um, kind of dirty, but that's fine. It was great, truck handled great. Still need to do rear suspension mods. Need more travel. Need a lot softer spring, because it's just too stiff of a spring. And then, yeah, but. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out.